Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be um, sharing with you some of the benefits of using an overnight sleeping mask. And um, I'm not talking about a traditional um, sheet mask that you would put over your face, um, like I've talked about in my empties. I'm talking about um, like a cream type mask or a mask pack. And I'm going to talk about the benefits, what um, a sleeping mask can do for you, how to apply it, and um, the step that you would want to incorporate a sleeping mask into your skin nighttime skincare regime. And then I'm going to share with you some of my um, favorites, my top four favorites. And so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with what does an over overnight mask do? Well, what it does, it's designed to help ingredients penetrate more deeply into the skin as we sleep. Um, we all know that as we sleep, that's when our skin does the most work as far as um, regenerating and repairing itself. So we definitely want to have something on our skin that's going to be helping to work in, con in contingent with what our skin is naturally doing. So it's going to help to um, ingredients to penetrate more deeply as we sleep. Um, it works as a barrier and a sealant. And so it's going to um, basically lock in those active ingredients of our products that we have put onto our skin in our um, nighttime skincare routine, those ingredients, you know, those active acids that we put into our, our skin, that's going to help, you know, um, increase the cell turnover. Because, um, you know, as we age, um, our toner, our turnover of our skin cells kind of slows down. And so we have to kind of help boost that a little bit. So as we sleep, we don't want those to kind of just evaporate into the, the air. And so these overnight masks, they kind of help, they act as a barrier that kind of helps, you know, lock that in and hold it down so that it can kind of work its magic and not just kind of evaporate especially this time of year when, when we're running that forced heat even during the summer you know we're running the ac you know all these environmental um barriers that are going on you know inside inside of our own home there's so much things going on that can affect our skin so it's really good to have something that's going to help create a barrier against those things um it also helps to um, last longer on the face. Um, so you're, they are designed to be more potent. They um, deliver stronger results over a course of the night because they are staying on the face longer. They're not just evaporating away. And um, so that is what an overnight mask does. Because you may be thinking, well, overnight mask is just a glorified um, moisturizer. I don't really need an additional step. Well, I think you might think differently once we get done with this video. Okay, so now what is the benefits of an overnight sheet mask? Well, the benefits are it's going to give the skin the deep hydration and how it does the heat deep hydration is because it's staying onto the skin longer. It's not evaporating. It's really working into penetrating into the skin. It's also forcing the products that you put on before the overnight mask to really work and get into deeper into the skin because it's forcing everything to stay onto the skin and really just working to penetrate in. It replenishes that lost moisture and just really helps to bring back the glow depending upon what type of overnight mask that you choose to use. There's so much wide variety of sheet masks or not sheet masks, but overnight masks that you can select based on your skincare concern that you want to address for that night. Or um, you can select just one to use over a full course of, say, the winter. Um, they moisturize, they soothe, and they just really help to pamper the skin. They help to brighten the skin and um, diminish um, the dullness. And when you think about, you know, we go outside and we really want to protect our skin and we're 
probably all pretty good about you know protecting our skin from environmental particles and things that happen to us outside you know with our sunscreens and stuff but we don't really think about stuff that's going on inside like dust you think well my house is clean I don't have dust but yes we do I mean because you know every week we go through we dust our furniture and you know we all have it we have the little thin layer of dust on our furniture and yeah we're probably getting a little bit of that dust on our skin at night and if you're putting on an overnight sleeping pack you know it's creating that barrier that's going to help keep from getting those particles those dust particles as your heat is blowing out that air from settling into your skin it's going to help create that barrier um, pollution is helping with pollution yes pollution kind of helps kind of seeps into our and unfortunately into our homes um, makeup makeup is a um, um, this, unfortunately it kind of help it does damage our skin a little bit here and there um, bad eating oh my gosh how many of us really um, went a little wild over the holidays yeah I did I know I did um, but yes bad eating can definitely impact the skin so these overnight sleeping packs can kind of help reverse that bad eating that we um, did over the holidays or over the course of the winter because we're kind of like animals if if you kind of notice you know when it starts getting cold we really want to start eating and start oh gosh how do I want to say it? we want to start putting on some some fat because you know we want to stay warm <laughs> yeah we're kind of like a bear we want to get fat and get warm and snuggly and so anyway, um, it kind of helps with um, deep within and just restores the, that moisture barrier, which is very important. Even if you have oily skin, you definitely, you still don't want to get dehydrated skin. Um, you still have to keep that moisture barrier because if you're getting a dehydrated skin, even with oily skin, then your skin is going to overcompensate and keep producing more oil. And it's going to help to undo and repair, of course, your sun's your sun damage that we do and the, just the daily skin damage that we endure from being outside. Now the last thing I want to talk about before I get into um, some of my favorites is how to use. Well, we're going to use the very last step of your skincare regime. And how I like to do is I will do my light nightly skincare regime and then I will wait and let um, all of that pardon me, my eye has been itching today. <laughs> it's been like like a in the 70s here the last couple of days but it's going to get kind of cold again tomorrow so anyway but anyway kind of give that about maybe 10 minutes to kind of dry down just a tad bit and then depending upon how I feel whatever issue I want to address for the night then I will put on my um, overnight sleeping pack sleeping mask however you want to refer to it and then I will um, lay in bed and watch TV and then I will go to sleep now you want to make sure that you wait for about 15 to 20 minutes before if you're not the type of person to watch TV before you go to bed if you go straight to bed after you do your um, skincare because you don't want it to be you want to give it a little bit of time to kind of wait for it to, to kind of dry down a little bit and absorb into your skin before you um, go to bed because you don't want it to kind of rub all over your pillow. But I don't have any issue with it 
disturbing my sleep or getting all over the pillow or being tacky or being sticky or anything of that nature, especially with the ones that I'm going to show you. So, so now let me show you and um, keep in mind that these are just four of the ones that I picked from my collection. I have a whole lot more than these. Um, I could, I probably should sh just show you my um, overnight sleeping mask collection as a whole at some point and I will most certainly do that but anyway this one here y'all have heard me talk about this a lot of times um, I swear by this one this is from too cool for school it is the pumpkin sleeping pack this one is very readily available I think all of these are actually you can get these really easily um, I didn't pick any that were um, that you were going to have to, you know, travel overseas or go to a top of a mountain to, to get. This one you can get at Sephora very easily. It is a Korean skincare brand and it's around $20. It's not expensive at all. And you get quite a bit of product in this one. Gosh darn, you get a lot of product. How much is this one? Let me see, does it say on the front of here? 3.3 fluid, 3.38 fluid ounces, 100 mil, which is wonderful. I mean, for 20 bucks, dang, that's a lot. And I, I'm pretty sure I picked this up in one of the percents off, but even, even at just, you know, $20, that's cheap. But I like to use this on nights where I feel like I'm needing a little extra exfoliation. And that's what I to, like to use this for because it has the pumpkin enzymes in it for glowing. It just helps for exfoliation. It leaves your skin so pretty the next morning for radiant skin. Um, it does have just a tad bit of a pumpkin smell. Not a whole lot for me. Um, and it just really helps with damaged dull skin because it has that vitamin A, it has the vitamin C in it, it has the beta keratin. Um, it really just helps to promote hydration and exfoliation. All of these, it doesn't take a whole lot. I mean, you're looking at probably like maybe um, a nickel size amount. I mean, like maybe this, is that a nickel? Yeah, that's about a nickel, right? I would say a nickel, no more than, I wouldn't even think, not even a quarter size. I think if you're using a quarter size, you're using too much and you're gonna have a little bit, you're gonna have an issue because it's not going to absorb and you're probably not gonna like it. So start with, you start with a nickel for sure. And if you think then you need to go up to a little bit more than that, then do that, but yeah. I think you would really, really like this. And if you're new to overnight masking and you can definitely tolerate an enzyme type of mask, then get this one, start with this one. You will, you will really like that one. And then the next one I have, now this one, um, I know that Ulta carries Cos Cosrx, but this one you may have to order, but I'm pretty sure you could probably find this on Amazon. This one is going to be really, really, really good for this time of year because it is the Cosrx Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask. Yeah, y'all probably knew I was going to talk about something with honey in it. <clears throat> this one is $11, very inexpensive, and um, it's 85% propolis. It's for um, just soothing and nourishing the skin for hydration. Like I said, for this time of year, if your skin is just kind of chapped from being out in the cold, um, we just here in Oklahoma, we haven't been getting a whole lot of that. But, you know, like I said, with that dry forced air right now, oh, and I just love this stuff. Of course it has, you know, a gel-like texture to it. Doesn't really have a little bit of a honey smell to it, but it's just really, really nice. Just goes on so smooth. And um, it has the Japanese, or no, wait. It um, transforms your, your dull, irritated skin into a healing, radiant skin. So like I said, if you're just, you've been out in the cold, maybe you've been hauling in wood. That comes from an old country girl. 
<laughs> that grew up with the wood stove and yes we had to haul in wood every winter but and yeah our, our little sheets got chapped <laughs> but yes it is one it is good and it goes in really nice and it is not sticky you do not have to worry about this product being sticky so don't think just because it's got honey in it you're going to be sticky and you're going to wake up with the dog licking your face because you don't have to worry about that <laughs> it's going to be fine it's it's not sticky and it's it's good and matter of fact, gosh, I'm probably like to hear on this little guy. Good. I really, really recommend that one too. So if you have, if you can't stand an, an enzyme type product and you're suffering with dry, irritated skin, get this one. Get this one. Um, check the Ulta website. I'm not for sure if they have this one, but if not, then go to Amazon and check there. Okay. Whew, I got to get a drink. And the next one I want to talk about is Origins. And I know you can get this one at Sephora. Not for sure about Ulta. And I just have a deluxe size sample of this one. And when I get done with this one, I have a whole bunch of little sample packs. So I'm set with this one for a little while. But this one, a full size of this, runs around $28. So it's a little bit more on the higher end of the price range. But this one is an avocado and apricot oil, which is for hydration and it also has Japanese seaweed which um, repairs the skin's barrier to prevent future dehydration which is why I like this because not only is it taking care of your dehydration your dryness that's now but it's going to help to keep the um, dryness in the future so it brought it it, it takes care of your immediate situation, but it's going to help with future dehydration. So I, I, that's why I like it, and it really does work. It's very nice, very nice. I'm just going to see what else it said here on the top, on the front. It says it's a drink-up intensive overnight mask to quench skin's thirst. Yes. And it does. I really like it. And this recommends to use it twice a week or as desired. And you gently massage onto clean skin at bedtime. Well, I am. Um, I disregard the clean skin part because I put it on top of all of my other skincare regime products but as a last step. But yes, I do like it. And it's like a cream type product. I can get some squeeze out because this is about empty too because I've been using the heck out of this one too yeah it's just like a cream type product see there dang I've been talking for like 20 minutes no wonder my throat is dry but I could talk all day long about sheet mask and masking and just skincare in general I just wished that I could um, get all the verbiage out the way that I want to. I wish I could articulate better, and I wish I could talk without my hands. And if, it, if I was talking with my hands, I need to, this is what I wish I could do, because we were in the restaurant the other day, and there was a table of a group of people at the table, at one table, not our table, but they were um, um, vision, not vision, hearing impaired so they are all speaking in sign language and I really wish I could um, talk in sign language I think that would be really nice that I could um, <clears throat> instead of just doing all this with my hands I was actually doing you know sign language I know a little bit because my daughter took um, sign language in college as her foreign language and so I know a little bit, but I just think that that would be very interesting. And I think I would really like to do that. But anyway, so, and that would give me something to do with my hands. That would be beneficial. Anyway, other than them just flapping. <laughs> anyway, okay. The last, the last one I have is this one here from Belief, Belief, Belief. I'm never really for sure how to say that. Do you guys know? Is it belief or belief? 
I'm not for sure, but anyway, it's the First Aid Overnight Brightening Mask. Now this is fairly new in my collection. I haven't had it very long, but I've had it long enough to know that I really, really, really do like it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And it's a, drill, a gel cream consistency. I'm going to show you the little consistency first. Kind of looks like this here. And it has these little beads in there. And you just have to use just a little thin, thin layer of this little stuff. Oh, and the price is $34, but it's not a bad price there. It doesn't take a whole lot at all. Again, that little nickel size that I talked about, yeah, that's all it's going to take. Um, it has black truffle in it, which is for renewing the skin. It has amber for to condition the skin. It has a really pleasant smell. It has pearls in it to help brighten the skin, and then it has um, what is, it has gold powder in it to, um, to help the skin to appear radiant and luminous. It is very hydrating, very, very hydrating. And your skin the following morning will be so soft and so supple and so plump. <coughs> hmm. Definitely, definitely, definitely a very good overnight mask. And what and the good thing about this product and this product and this product is that you can go to Sephora and ask for a sample of all three of these products and take them home and give them a try, give them a road test and see how you like them without having to make a purchase. And then that way you can see for yourself what I'm talking about and then you're on your way to being a overnight masking queen like myself. <laughs> no, no, but no, really, in all seriousness, you need to get started. I've preached to you for the last three years about sheet masking. I've got you onto your sheet masking game. Now it's time to step it up. We need to step it up, and now we need to get you into your overnight um, masking. It doesn't take but two minutes, two minutes of your night before you step into your bed or before you get ready to settle in and start watching your favorite show of the evening time. You've got all your skincare on and now you're, you're going to start watching Hill Street Blues, whatever it is that you watch at the evening time. I don't know. Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> I don't know what you watch. <laughs> what else is on? Dallas. I don't know. <laughs> Put some of this on, you know, make sure that you've got all your other stuff on first and then put on your overnight sleeping mask, whatever it is. You know, Sephora's got some really good ones, uh, house brand ones that you could try. You've seen me haul them. You've seen them in my empties. You've seen me talk about them. You've got all the scoop right here. You've seen the how to use them. You've seen the benefits. You've seen what they're going to do for you. You've seen my favorites. So let's put it all into action. Use them for a month. Don't just use them once or twice and say, these don't do nothing. No, you've got to be consistent with them. It's just like you doing exercise. If you go to the gym and walk on the treadmill, for 30 minutes and you walk out of that gym expecting to be 50 pounds lighter, it ain't going to happen. You've got to be consistent with it. Okay, guys? You've got to be consistent. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.